What the hell was that? What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? I'm just a love machine, and I don't work for nobody but you. I'm just a love machine, and I don't work for nobody but you. Guacamole in my chew. Ay, Ching Galloway! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Where's that old bobber? Brap! Good morning, everybody. It's bright. So apologies for the uh, couple weeks that passed since my last video. Uh, I didn't, i have been busy with work and then I was out of town last weekend so I couldn't get out on the weekend. I was out in fabulous Las Vegas place that takes years off your life that nothing good ever comes from that you walk away from hating telling yourself you're never going to go back ever again for the rest of your life and then you sort of forget about it in two weeks and then go hey man we should go back to Vegas that'd be really fun so you pretty much can't go to Vegas without coming back with uh with suffering the fuck of hash uh can't come back with a good story and this last trip was certainly no exception. So gather around, kids. Listen to my story. My Las Vegas story. It involves my friend. I'll leave his name out. What's this guy saying to me? What's that? Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Is the bike mine? No, it's stolen. Yeah, I needed some serious dental work. <clears throat> oh, another red light. Awesome. Right, so, uh, yeah. So there I was. Um, at a hotel. It's pretty late. I was coming back from uh, a night out with a couple of buddies there. And uh, we'd all had been drinking. So I sat down in the bar in this little corner spot next to the... Uh, next to these two uh, good ladies. Uh, I quickly realized that I had no interest. They were a little, uh, how shall I say, um, they're not professionals, but they weren't exactly of the highest caliber. Anyway, uh, my friend, who at this point is pretty drunk, he, uh, he doesn't seem to care much. So he's chatting this lady up, and uh, they're talking, 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 talking. He's buying drinks, and they're getting drunker and drunker and drunker. And by this point, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. And then I had this drug dealer approach me out of nowhere and start offering me uh, uh, cocaine. And uh, to which I said, no, even if I was interested. Uh, Nevada, despite being the city where you can gamble and prostitution is legal, ironically, they have very strict drug laws there. Anyway, this guy was harassing me, harassing me, harassing me. He wouldn't get off my back. It got to the point where I just said, you know what? I'm out. So I up and left. So my friend uh, was doing work on this girl, wanted to stay with her, was trying to, I think, put something together and have himself a good night. So he stayed behind. So what ended up happening was he was there. Well, let me go back a little bit. I talked to her friend, and apparently they were there on the girl that my buddy was talking to. They were there, her younger sister's bachelorette party. And I guess the two sisters were kind of squabbling a little bit, and they weren't getting along on the trip very well. And, uh, you know, I guess she was just uh, the older sister, the one my friend was talking to, was kind of uh, doing her own thing and not giving the younger sister enough attention. And this situation wasn't going to help much. So the younger sister's up in the room or something because it's pretty late and a lot of them went to bed early. So the younger sister's calling the older sister 
that my friend's talking to, who I guess is, is she's just ignoring the call. She's just not interested. She's talking to my friend. So this is get, making the younger sister more and more upset, right? So this is all, this happens after I'm gone. So apparently, uh, you know, I later on I'm in bed. So apparently they stayed there until just about dawn when both of them were just blind drunk. You know, they were vacuuming the carpets. When you're in Las Vegas and you're at a bar and then all of a sudden you see, because uh, there's no clocks and you can't see what time it is. And you don't know if it's light or day or whatever. But if all of a sudden you see uh, janitorial services vacuuming around you, you know the sun has come up and you probably should get going and get your ass to bed. What is the hold up here? No, well, that's just the hold up. Ah. Right, so, um, very friendly today. Uh, finally, and this is a different hotel, by the way, than what we're, where we're staying, mind you. So apparently my friend ends up uh, talking this gal to coming back to his room for one more drink and whatever happens thereafter. So um, she leaves and then they're on the cab and about halfway there, the girl realizes she's lost her phone or left it at the bar or something. She doesn't have it with her. And um, so... <laughs> So she goes, oh, to my friend, let me borrow your phone. I can't find my phone. I need to call my sister. Da, da, da. By this point, she calls the sister and uh, leaves a voicemail because they're asleep, right? <clears throat> Come on. So, right. So she does that, leaves a voicemail, leaves a voicemail with uh, the bar saying, I think I left my phone there. Can you keep, you know, she's practically incoherent at this point. How pretty that is. So then she just sort of, sort of forgets it, right? So then my buddy takes his phone back, sticks it back in his pocket, and off they go. You know, this is in the cab. So the 20 minutes later, they're on the ride back. This sister starts calling my buddy, to which he ignores the phone calls. Or the girl, the, the girl he's talking to wants to ignore the phone calls, right? So... <laughs> We listen to these messages later. I'll get there, right? So they uh, they get up to the room. They're in there. They pour themselves a drink. And all, you know, nothing has happened yet. They haven't started uh, doing any extracurricular activities with each other. And uh, bang, 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 bang on the door. So what? You know what the hell? So my friend kind of wow. Who is it? The hotel security. Open the door. He's like, what the hell? So he opened, my, this is like 7 o'clock in the morning, by the way. They, these guys have been up all night. So he opens the door, and in walks in like two or three security, hotel security guys, and two or three Las Vegas PD. All these guys crowded into my buddy's room, uh, charging in, coming in pretty hot on these guys. So they start questioning, what are you doing? You know, what's this girl doing? And, uh, you know, what are you doing here? Apparently, what happened was, is this gal's sister called the cops and called the police and essentially said this guy was taking, my buddy was taking advantage of her and, and basically abducted her, long, you know, for lack of a better term, out of the bar in Las Vegas and sort of forced her and taken advantage of her and forced her back to his room. So these guys come in thinking, you know, something really bad's going down in this room. I mean, these guys are, from what I hear from him, are pretty fired up. So the good news is, fortunately, the girl was coherent enough to, you know, basically defend my friend and say, no, no, my sister called in, she's really upset, and uh, I'm here on my own will. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and meanwhile, I'm sleeping two doors down. I didn't hear a thing. Uh, you know, I'm here on my own will, uh, you know, this guy's a good guy, and my friend's just standing there with his thumb up his butt, you know, kind of just slack jaw, trying to explain himself when these cops are up in his face. These guys have been up all night, they had been drinking a lot, you know, he's not exactly on his, uh, it, you know, sharpest game as far as talking to the police and so forth. <clears throat> so... <laughs> So I think eventually, after some questioning, and oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot to mention, this is important, the sister's there, she shows up with the cops, and she's standing out in the hallway, screaming her head off, get her out of there, get her the fuck out of there, get her out of there, go 
guys room? And she, you know, just inciting and just trying to basically mix things up. And it's just going crazy. You know, thinking this guy took her phone and all this stuff. Yeah, she's, so she's in the hall, hallway trying to encourage the cops to, to, to you know, arrest them and put cuffs on them and drag them down to jail and all this stuff. So anyway, after some questioning, the cops, thank God, you know, put it together that yes, she was there on her own will. Yes, they were both consenting adults and nothing shady or criminal was happening. And, uh... And then the girl was trying to stay, you know, so the cops were going to leave, and then the girl was kind of like, no, I want to stay in your room. And of course, at this point, uh, the mood had been pretty much ruined. And uh, so my friend said, you know, actually, I'm going to take a pass on that. And uh, why don't you go ahead and get on your way, you and your fucking batshit crazy sister, and, uh, and let me actually get some sleep. So they left. <laughs> So then I called him an hour later. This is like 8.30 in the morning when I came to. Hey man, you wanna get some breakfast? And then, uh, to which he just re you know, repeated the story I just said. So that, that, was, uh, that was probably the best of the stories of Las Vegas. There's actually a couple other things that happened. So uh, what's your story? Well, I guess Las Vegas or otherwise. So in the comments below, I ask you guys, you know, what's, uh, Tell me something that's happened crazy on a trip that you've been on. Tell me a story. Oh, and so by the way, I'm on my way to get my break-in service. I'm just about to hit 600 miles. And uh, I'm on my way to get the break-in service and I also got my Krieger bag there on the back. I'm also gonna have them do a couple of mods for me because, as I've said in a couple of videos before, I'm completely retarded at, uh, ew, raccoon. Uh, I'm completely retarded at uh, doing any sort of mechanical. One of them's a tail tidy. This thing is basically a computer with wheels, and I'm, I am not messing around with anything electrical on this bike. I will let, leave that to the professionals. It's cold. Could have made that, dude. Oh, you're fucking me, man. Come on. What are you doing? It's Christ. <laughs> Fuck are you doing, man? Jesus. God damn. <laughs> All right, 600 mile service complete. So you got the Pazzo levers added on, adjustable on both sides now. I got the crash sliders on. These things jut out farther than I thought they would. They're sticking way out. That's cool. And uh, ready to roll. It was not cheap. Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye.